Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Vigyan Academy. So today we are going to discuss about uh, is important topic regarding our geography context that is the Earth's atmosphere. So we know that different layers of gases surrounding our Earth. A key component of the Earth is physical systems. Uh, composition is not so much important. We know that seventy percent of nitrogen there. 21% oxygen, 1% of other gases are present in the Earth's atmosphere. So, this is our different types of layers are there, different types of layers like atmosphere, stratosphere, this type of layers, where uh, the nitrogen, oxygen, and other gases are basically the components of these different layers. So, these are basically uh, comp compromising the, our components of the Earth's atmosphere. So, when it talks about the different layers of our atmosphere, see. This is our earth. The very first layer that is our troposphere. Then stratosphere. Mesosphere. Then we know about the thermosphere. Sometimes this is also called as ionosphere. Lastly, the exosphere. These are the different types of layers of our Earth's atmosphere: the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, or ionosphere. And lastly, the exosphere. Now, what about these boundaries? Like the there is a boundary between troposphere and stratosphere. There is a boundary between stratosphere and uh, mesosphere. Like. This boundary is basically called, suppose you are considering this boundary, this is called the topopause. Sorry. The, uh, status, the boundary between stratosphere and troposphere is called the topopause. Right. The boundary between the mesosphere and stratosphere is called the stratopause. Similarly, the boundary between the mesosphere and ionosphere is called mesopause. I'll summarize this. Boundaries. Topo and strato is topopause. The boundary between strato and meso is mesopause. The boundary between meso and thermo is basically uh, this is stratopause, not mesopause. This is stratopause. This is mesopause. So these are the different types of layers that is uh, surrounding our Earth's atmosphere: the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, or ionosphere, and lastly the exosphere. And the different boundaries they are sharing with each other there. Right. Now let's briefly discuss about the different layers separately. First of all, the first layer of our atmosphere is the troposphere. Troposphere is the lowest layer, obviously. It is available in the surface to 12 kilometer, densest, contains most water vapor and aerosols. Temperature decrease with height. We'll discuss this. And weather occurs here. In the most of the Weather, uh, weather phenomenon. Most of the weather phenomenon occurs in troposphere. Most of the weather phenomenon are occurs in the troposphere. So these are the some points that should be remembered regarding the troposphere. It is the lowest layer that is that can be available to the twelve kilometer. In this, uh, the most of the weather phenomena are happening, and the temperature decreases with height. Now. What is the reason behind this? Why the temperature decreases with the increase of height in case of troposphere? See, this is suppose our art. This is suppose the troposphere. This is the troposphere and this is your art. This is sun. There will be insulation. Insulation means incoming 
solar radiation so there will be incoming solar radiation from the sun some of the radiation this is basically the short wave radiation huh coming radiation is basically the short wave radiation so what happens some of the radiation that process the troposphere it goes to the earth surface some of them are absorbed by the earth and some of them are reflected back this reflected back uh, radiation are called terrestrial radiation terrestrial radiation and these are basically of long wave short wave radiation came crossing the troposphere entering the earth surface then some of them reflected back the reflected back are radiations are called terrestrial radiation that is the long wave radiation so what happens when this uh, terrestrial radiation uh, reflected back from the earth surface you can see at some point of time the heating amount the the heating amount of this radiation decreases so when it talks about the closest to the earth there will be more heat when we go here it will be lesser heat because the heating pattern of the troposphere is basically the infrared radiation or the terrestrial radiation that's why when we increasing when we are uh, goes above our heating will be uh, less the temperature will be less in case of troposphere so temperature decreases with height in case of troposphere due to this terrestrial radiation phenomenon i hope this is clear to you all now see one more thing the short wave radiation came it crosses the troposphere the but the long wave radiation that is reflected by by the earth cannot cross this troposphere it is uh it is a uh, uh, covered in this part in this uh, portion it cannot cross the troposphere again it is short wave radiation came it crosses the troposphere it entered the earth surface some of the um, radiation reflected back that is the terrestrial radiation it is a long wave radiation but it cannot pass the tropos troposphere again so it is struck here so this effect is basically called the greenhouse effect the short wave radiation came it crosses the troposphere but a long wave radiation cannot cross the troposphere again reflected again reflected back and again cross the troposphere so this phenomenon is called our greenhouse effect so the next layer that is is that is our stratosphere so stratosphere is basically the second layer 12 km to 50 km obviously the main thing is that ozone layer is uh, found in the stratosphere and temperature increases with the height see this is the uh, different this is different from the troposphere in troposphere we studied the temperature decreases with height but in case of stratosphere temperature increases with height the first thing why see when you consider the uh, layer suppose this is your earth this is your troposphere and this is your stratosphere now what is the heating pattern of stratosphere basically in case of troposphere we studied about the infrared ray radiation phenomenon that is the heating pattern of troposphere but when you consider the stratosphere the heating pattern is basically depending upon the uv this is your sun the uv light came so the stratosphere is uh, heated with the uv light directly the uv light of the sun so you can obviously feel that the uv radiation is more when you goes up to the stratosphere it means the uv radiation here it will be less and here it will be greater so at higher point at higher point the uv radiation is greater than the lower point so obviously when you increase the height You will feel more temperature in the stratosphere. So in troposphere, with the increasing of uh, height, the uh, temperature is decreasing. But in case of stratosphere, the in case of increasing of the height, the uh, temperature is also increasing. So this is the two important things that should be remembered regarding the troposphere and stratosphere. In troposphere, with the increasing of height, the temperature decreases. But in case of stratosphere, with the increasing of uh, the height, the temperature is also increases. Now one more thing. We studied the in case of troposphere that decreasing of 
air temperature decreasing of air temperature with increasing of height right we study this yes uh, decreasing of air temperature with increasing of height so this phenomenon is basically called the vertical gradient temperature vertical gradient temperature or you can say the vertical temperature gradient the decreasing of air temperature with increasing of height now again one more thing the rate of uh, declining of temperature of decline of temperature with increase of height is called the lapse rate is called the lapse rate so the phenomenon of decreasing the air temperature with increasing of height is called the vertical temperature gradient and similarly the rate of declining of the temperature with increasing of height is called the lapse rate so these are very important numerology that you have to remember you have from your exam point of view the vertical temperature gradient and the lapse rate so we studied about troposphere we studied about stratosphere now we are moving to our next uh, layer that is mesosphere when it talks about mesosphere it is a third layer obviously 50 kilometer to 80 kilometer it is range temperature decreases with height coldest layer meteors burn up here now why again the temperature decreases with height see when it talks about the earth when it talks about the troposphere when it talks about the stratosphere when it talks about the mesosphere now when the uv came from the uh, sun it process the layer process the boundary of mesosphere and stratosphere and it goes to the stratosphere it means that the boundary between mesosphere and stratosphere cannot resist or cannot absorb or cannot reflect it back the uv that is coming from the sun so it is directly strike into the boundary of stratosphere and troposphere right troposphere so when the uv cannot sustain here uv uh, 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 went below of the, the boundary of the mesosphere and stratosphere so what happened it means that as soon as as soon as you are going upward direction you are more distance from this uh, this boundary so as soon as you are more distance from this boundary you are feeling uh, lesser heat so that's why when you are increasing the height of the mesosphere the temperature is decreasing because there is no uh, heating pattern on mesosphere itself the heating pattern of mesosphere depend upon the heating pattern of stratosphere so as soon as you are getting the high, more height from the stratosphere the temperature decreases that's why when you increase the height in the mesosphere the temperature will decrease this is mesosphere lastly the thermosphere sometimes it is also called as ionosphere why because in this uh, layer the gases are found in the form of ion you know about ion the anion the cation so the gases are found in the form of ions in thermosphere that's why it is also called as ionosphere again its range is 80 kilometer to 700 kilometer temperature again increases with height obviously because it is the last layer no? so this is your uv so as soon as you are increasing your height you are more close to the uh, uv radiation of the sun so that's why with the increasing of the height you are getting more uh, temperature uh, aurora borealis and aurora uh, australis occur here now what is this aurora mean basically let's discuss this aurora first then we have come to aurora borealis and aurora australis now see Aurora is basically Aurora. Aurora is basically the display of lights. Display of lights in the polar region. 
in the polar region you can observe some display of lights na you can uh, google it also there the watches over and you can see different types of uh, displaying of lights here uh, in the polar region so this is basically the displaying of light is called aurora the question is that why this is happen because see the air or you can say the solar air the solar air that come towards the earth towards the earth it is deflected towards the poles by the earth magnetic field so when the solar air came towards the earth the air is basically deflected towards the poles by the earth's magnetic field then this air reacted there and form the aurora so basically the displaying of lights in the two poles of the earth is called the aurora why it is happen because the solar air that is coming from the coming towards the earth it is deflected back towards the poles of the earth due to the earth's magnetic field and there it is reacted uh, uh, the air reacted and it uh, form the aurora now obviously you know there are two uh, two poles one is northern pole another is southern pole so the aurora that is displayed in the northern pole is called aurora borealis borealis north pole the aurora displayed in the southern plate southern pole it is called the aurora australis okay this is the concept of aurora uh this is all we have discussed uh, the very basic concept of our atmospheric layer lastly the last layer that is uh, not so much important that is exosphere this is the highest layer obviously we can call it this is the last layer and our uh, form this it merges the our atmosphere merges with the space so this is the last layer the significance bhai ozone layer ka significance hum logo ko pata hi hai ki is a the events the uv uv of the earth and different types of temperature regulation is uh, uh, dependent on the different layers of the earth so this is it that is all the about the concept now let's briefly uh, quickly discuss some pyqs that is came from this uh, concept so which one of the following gases is found the highest quantity in exosphere it is obviously hydrogen hydrogen is found because so we know that in sun there is a reaction of hydrogen hydrogen and helium so when exosphere is more closer to the uv radiation that is more closer to the sun that is hydrogen is the maximum of hydrogen is the maximum percentage will be present in exosphere this is the first question second question that can is the normal left side i know this question can be asked left side the normal left side of temperature of our atmosphere drops to 0 degree celsius so basically at the upper boundary of the stratosphere stratopos we discuss about the stratopos na the boundary between the stratosphere and the atmosphere so at the upper boundary of stratosphere we can say the left side will be zero in which of the following layer the atmospheric weather phenomenon occur most of the weather phenomena are direct question troposphere in troposphere most of the weather phenomena are happen next which one of the following is the correct sequence of layers oh, that will be the first one in the troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere this is the answer troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and lastly the exosphere next the two statements the decrease of air temperature with increasing altitudes in the atmosphere is called the vertical temperature gradient directly here definition is given here directly the first statement is obviously correct Topos in troposphere air temperature decrease with increasing of altitude due to the form radiation from the earth this statement is correct that in temperature decrease with the increasing of altitude but this is not due to the radiation from the earth this is the radiation from the sun uv and the radiation is reflected back by the earth so this statement is wrong so statement 1 is only correct so the option in this statement 1 is true but the statement 2 is false so that's all we have discussed about briefly discuss about the uh, different layers of the earth atmosphere in class we also discussed the different uh, categories different uh, ways how can we see the in different different types of the things that is regarding the earth atmosphere we are discussing in the class as well but uh, i hope this will help you a lot when it talks about the different layers of earth atmosphere that is the thing you have to remember from your exam point of view that's all thank you